I want to share with you guys here another amazing mystery when it comes to the United States in our history. You are looking at a site that is underwater that was discovered in 2007, and there's really not a lot of talk about it, a lot of stories on it, because people don't have access to get out and to research it. What you're looking at is what they're calling America's Stonehenge, sitting at a depth of 12 meters underwater. And they say that it could be every bit of 10,000 years old, because if humans put this here, like they're saying they think they did, because the distance of the formation is, is perfect. It's not natural. They're saying that this alignment that is sitting at the bottom of Lake, Lake Michigan would have had to have been made 10,000 years ago, if not up to 25,000 years ago. That is a pretty big window of time. But while researching this, one of the diving expeditions went down looking at the for formation and discovered this amazing picture that you see here. This mysterious stone had the depiction of a mastodon. They said that this was not just scratched in here and that they think that this is one of the most incredible features of this underwater Stonehenge in Lake Michigan. It is made out of pure granite, a very hard material. And they're, they're saying, what were they using to carve into granite? Something harder than granite. What was ancient man using 10,000 years ago to do something like this? It defies all of what they say. Because they say that this was not put in here by just being scratched into the rock. They stress that the marks and lines that made the mastodon are precisely carved not just scratched in. So this adds to the mystery. And they say that this rock formation and the precisely aligned stone circles clearly indicate a man-made structure. So they're saying that this area around Michigan could have been witness to early human presence all the way back to 25,000 years ago. One thing's for sure, guys. We are constantly left in the dark about our history. That's why I've stated that I want to venture out and hit the places here in America that I know that they're keeping things secret. Um, there were caves discovered down in the Grand Canyon that are very mysterious that I would love to get down and be able to explore. There is this area, the underwater Stonehenge, and it makes you wonder if they're exploring this and it's only 12 meters underwater, can you see this from the air? Those are big questions because if so, that's a game changer. We can get our own images of this. I have to do some more digging and find out precisely where this location is, the exact GPS coordinates, and maybe even have a diving crew. Because if something like this, the depiction of a mastodon, is carved into a rock down here, I can guarantee you there is more. And that is very intriguing. And I also look to get out to... The Chillicothe Mounds in Ohio, the Hopewell Mounds, Serpent Mound, all these locations. As soon as I get uh, the Phantom 3 back, that way I can get some aerial footage of these places and get, get it from a different perspective. When you look at some of these places, just like the mounds in Ohio, and you try to use Google Earth and you try to zoom in, they deceive you. They show nothing till you get all the way down to the bottom and all of a sudden these rocks pop up. It looks like... Almost like an ancient graveyard or something like they're tombstones, but they're not. People are not buried there. They had a different purpose, and they are ancient. And one of the places is cut off to the public. You cannot enter, although it sits right next to the main road, main highway. You'd have to pull off and get a camera shot down into there. And the rest, well, if you're in the sky flying by, then you can see everything below. And that's what I look to achieve right there is, is getting some shots we've never seen before, try to get some answers, and try to take out as much equipment as I can, um, soil samples, checking the surrounding area. You never know what kind of metals, uh, radiation may, might be in an area. Things that one may not expect could be present, and you never know 
unless you go looking for them. One thing's for sure. Stories like this pique my interest and will continue to do so. And if I know that this is sitting out there underwater, it just makes me wonder, what else? And if I was one that lived up here near Lake Michigan and in this neck of the woods, this is definitely something that I would have on my mission map to get out and check out. Any of you guys know anything about this, let me know. I'll continue to keep you guys posted with more information like this as I come across it. And keep an eye out here soon. As soon as the Phantom 3 is back, I'm getting out and hitting some of these sites and getting every bit of information that I can through and through on them. It's the only way we're going to find out the truth. The only way. It's been Dabu7. Much love.